Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day two of eyeshadow palette week. If you're new here or if you didn't see my last video, this entire week, Monday through Friday, I am posting a look centered around one eyeshadow palette. So every single day I'm going to pick a new eyeshadow palette and do a look using just that one palette. So yesterday I used the Aether amethyst palette and did a really fun purple look today i'm kind of channeling more of a bronzy summery vibe and i am using the bodyography forever summer palette do y'all remember this i used this a really long time ago and then just never revisited it so this palette has become quite messy because as you can see just the shadows are very 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 soft and um, it just kind of makes a mess and it's just not one that i reach for but um, i remember when i used this palette however long ago that was um y'all wanted to see other looks with this so today we're doing a very natural slightly bronzy eye and then i thought it'd be fun to pair it with a pop of color on the lips so that's the palette we're using today if you have this palette grab it you can do your makeup with me if you don't have this palette you can grab a palette that's similar to this and do your makeup with me um, but i encourage you this week as you're watching my videos um, whether you're doing it while you're actually watching my videos or just in your own spare time but i would encourage you to pull out some of your eyeshadow palettes play with them give them a little love kind of get re-inspired by some of the eyeshadow palettes that you have um, especially ones that maybe you haven't used in a while I think it's easy to get caught up in all the new makeup and just what's trending and um, sometimes our older palettes in the back need a little love and it's nice to just remember why we bought the palette why we initially loved the palette and you can kind of fall back in love with your eyeshadow palettes all over again. So make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, I've got my coffee, and let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so kind of like yesterday, I'm just going to run through my base routine very quickly. The main focus is going to be the eyes. So for foundation, I'm going to use this Veil Sunset Skin Foundation. I will definitely keep you updated on this, but this is one that I'm just trying out right now. Is my defense your kindness calls me friend your love will all right and then for concealer I'm gonna use the veil corrector concealer and highlighter you're good to me you're good to me Then I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face down with my Lila B uh, powder foundation. This doesn't have a ton of coverage, so even though it is powder foundation, it's pretty lightweight. Um, but I haven't pulled her out in a while, and I actually really like this powder, so I'm just gonna kind of sweep this across the face. Alright, and then for bronzer, I'm going to use the Ara Perez Rice Powder Blush and Bronzer in Roma. I have the shade Tulum, which I've used for um, a couple years now, but um, I'm going to try out this new shade. It looks very interesting. It's a blush and a bronzer, um, so it does have a little bit of like a rosiness to it, but I'm going to try and use it as a bronzer today. So I'm going to skip blush and wait till we do our eyes and then I'll come back and do blush. But I am going to add a little bit of highlight and for highlight I'm going to take the One Day Beauty, I think this is called the Skin Dew, and this is in the shade Rosé. I believe there's no shade name on here. Alright, so for the palette... Today we're using the Bodyography Forever Summer Eyeshadow Palette. I thought this would be a perfect palette for uh, the very warm weather we are experiencing here in Texas. It's technically not summer yet. I think summer is next week. Actually, it might be the week that you're watching this, so perfect. 
Um, but I think I've only used this one once. Oh, maybe twice. That happened the first time I used it. So that is nothing new. These shadows are extremely soft. Um, so they kind of crumble a little bit. Um, so I just gotta be really careful. But I was thinking of just doing a very warm bronzy eye. Nothing like too creative here. Um, but I just really want to use this palette. And I remember back when I used it before, y'all said you wanted me to do use this palette again, and I don't think I ever did. <laughs> so we're going to use her today. And I kind of just want to take this shade Cove, which is the one that's all busted in here. And then I'm just going to take this all over my lid and work from there and kind of build the look around this shade. So this is the shade Cove. I'm going to take it on a refer 01. I don't have anything on my eyelids, which when doing a bronzy look like this, I would love to use like a cream base, but in an effort to just use this eyeshadow palette, I'm not going to apply anything. So I'm just going to take this shade all over the lid. Actually, that shade on its own is really pretty. I'm going to take a clean blending brush, just soften that up. Alright, so now I'm going to take the shade Sandy, which is this nice kind of light peachy tone on my fluffy brush. This is a Refer 15, and I'm just going to run this through the crease just to help blend out that cove shade. I'm going to take the shade Isle, which is this really pretty kind of metallic, richer cop, uh, bron cop, oh my gosh. I can't talk. Bronzy shade. Holy moly. And I'm just going to work this on the outer corner. I'm going to wing this out slightly. Right, the shade is actually not that pigmented. I'm going to go in with the shade Strand, which is this matte brown, just to help deepen this up a bit. And then I'm just going to go in with my fluffy brush and soften that up a bit. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Tan Line to this nice kind of more orangey coral shade. And I'm just going to run that all through my upper crease. I'm actually going to take Tan Line and run that along my lower lash line as well. I really like this color. Alright, and then I'm going to take a little bit of my Lila B face powder, and there are sirens. What time is it? 5.45. Alright, that's really pretty. I think I want to add a little bit of something to the center of the lid. So I'm going to take the shade Bubbles, which is this really light shimmery shade. Sorry about the mirror. Um, I'm just going to take it on a fluffy brush and just focus that right on the center. Alright, and then I want a more light, lifted, separated, lengthened lash today. Not so volumizing and heavy. So I'm actually going to take my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. Alright, so I'm going to let my mascara dry, and then I'm going to come back to the eyes and do a little bit of liner, but it's still wet. I don't want to do any liner right now. Um, so let's move on back to the cheeks and do some blush, and then um, we'll do a lip. So I really want to use this uh, Rouge Paris um, palette. I think it's a lip and cheek palette, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure you can use this on the cheeks. Actually, let me just double check. I mean, you can use whatever you want anywhere, but I kind of want to see if they actually designed this for the cheeks. But I've been loving their lip products, so maybe we'll use it for the lips and the cheeks. Oh, okay, it says you, it can be used on the apples of your cheeks. I just wanted to kind of see what they said, um, how to use it. So I really want to use either this pretty corally shade or this shade. I'm going to start with this shade, and then maybe I'll add a little bit of that, but 
really want to try these. Okay, it's a little bit more of like a stiffer formula, but a lot of product comes off. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand first. And then maybe pick it up with my sponge. Wow, that shade is bright. It's really pretty though. Alright, let's take a little bit of this deeper shade. And I'll have this palette list uh, linked down below, like the name of it, because I cannot pronounce it, and I don't want to try. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that deeper shade, just kind of right back here. Ooh, wow, pigmented. And then I don't know if I want to use this on the lips, or I also have one of their lipsticks, which is such a pretty color. Mmm, so pretty. Let's see if I can swatch this for you. But it's like this gorgeous... I say peachy very loosely. It's like a coral pink. Just so pretty. I don't know if this really goes... I love the formula of this. I don't know if this really goes with this look. Alright, so this is their Le Rouge in the shade Caroline. Like... It has so much pigment to it. I think I'm going to shear this out a little bit. With my finger. Right, I'm going to take my Young Blood Eau Natural lip pencil. Pretty. I love this color. It's not a color I would normally reach for. But it's so pretty. It's like perfect for summer. But yeah, that's the lip. Alright, so let's move back to the eyes. I want to do a little bit of liner in the waterline. I'm going to take this Aero Perez Jojoba Eye Pencil in the shade Gold. And I thought this would be a little bit more interesting than a nude liner. It's really hard to find pencils that work in the waterline. Um, and these Aero Perez ones are so... So good. Alright guys, that completes day two of eyeshadow palette week. I hope you are enjoying the videos so far. We still have three more days and I've got some really fun eyeshadow palettes planned for the rest of the week. If you haven't seen my last video, definitely go check that out. I did a really cool purple eye um, and then the next three days I will definitely switch up the looks and play just with some different eye looks. I'm not going to repeat the same kind of look. Um, at any point during this week so this was my like more natural bronzy look but we're definitely going to play with some more color this week um, so make sure that you are checking back daily if you haven't already subscribed to my channel that way you're notified when I post my next video um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today remember I love you God loves you and I'll see y'all in my next video bye guys